Okay, we're going to try to have a quick video here on customizing your splash screen. A few things you're going to need. You need an image. I grabbed this one here and all I did was double clicked it, took it into an editor, edit it, and shrink down to what I want, which was in this case the little monster. Once you have that, you have your image, what you need to do is you need to change it to black to white and white to black. I prefer paint net. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open it up with paint net. And there's our image. And I'm going to invert colors because whatever's whatever is white shows up as black on the splash screen on the LCD okay so then I'm gonna save that you're gonna have to forgive the phone here that's what I got to, for a camera bring that back over here okay so now we have our final image that we're gonna do now what we got to do is the Marlin RC8 non -B BLT is what I got. When you open that zip file, you're going to have your files here. When you work on your firmware, you generally go into Marlin and scroll down and click open Marlin. Now here's what here's what stuck what messed me up. This file right here boot screen. That's the one you need. Okay, I'm going to delete it so we don't have it in here right now because it's not going to be there for you. What you got to do is go into examples. You got to go down to Hephaestus 2 and there's boot screen. Now I have it labeled as 1 just because I was having some issues with different files. So that's going to be our actual where you're going to get your file. It's just going to be labeled boot screen. And that's the one you're going to edit and then you're going to put it in with your Marlin. Okay, so what we're going to do is when you open Marlin, and we're going to do that here, switch over to this screen, see if you can see. You're going to go to Configuration H, and as you scroll down, Configuration H. Um, right here define show custom boot screen now when you open this it's going to have the two slashes which means it's not being used it's not defined you're going to delete those two slashes that's going to activate Marlin's going to now use the boot screen file okay and if you Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, it's, that's in another one. So that's right now. That's all you got to change in Marlin. So once you change that, we're gonna save changes. Yep. Okay. Now you're gonna open Boot Screen. That file I actually have a copy down here, but that file that you got from over here in your examples, right there, Boot Screen. You're gonna open that. And what that's going to give you is, that's going to give you another splash screen that somebody already made up. And you're actually going to delete that. So, you need to keep this symbol right here. Make sure you see it. There's one in front and in back. You're going to highlight the very first letter number. And you're going to scroll all the way down. Highlight them all. Go to the last one. And you're going to delete it cut and right here is where you're going to paste your new image information okay so what we're going to do we're going to save that so right now that's saved and if you look above here there's some web addresses more than file tools this is what you need to change an image to this code now I never had much luck with the first one but the second one works really good 
So we're gonna, gonna copy that address and we're gonna go there. Okay, now this is what you're gonna see. This is your conversion. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose your image, which we want the reversed one. You're gonna open that. Okay, and you're gonna set width and height. Now a good one, a good rule here is 128, and for mine I've gone with uh, 96, and that's that's kind of important that you remember that because you need to adjust that on the boot screen, which I'll show you. You don't have to change any other settings. Everything stays the same, and you hit the button, get G or C string, and there's your code. Your, and there it, it even shows what your image is. So you go to uh, right click, select all inside the box, and copy. Once you do that, you're done with that. Now we're back to our boot screen. So in between these two, right in here, we're going to paste. And there's our image. So we're going to save that. That saved, and now our, our boot screen file is ready to go into the Marlin. So when you, I'll close this out, so when you open up your, your RC8, you go to Marlin, and all you gotta do is drag boot screen right into it. Move to Marlin. And there you're gonna see it right at the very top normally. There it is. Boot screen. So you're ready to go. Now when you open your Marlin, and if you if you're ever looking for these files before, you, you know they were not in this drop down folder. And now they are. And it is right there. And that was my that was what I was having problems with. I was looking for the files in here and couldn't find them. And they're in the original download folder. So technically we're good to go. Our image is all set. So we're gonna compile and make sure there's no errors. So once once compiling's done, you know there's no errors. Once compiling's done and there's no errors, then you're gonna hook up your USB, turn on your Black Widow, and you're gonna click upload. And there we got done compiling, we're good to go. So then all we gotta do is upload and your image will come up. I hope you guys have good luck.